Have you guys ever heard of the phrase, you have two ears and one mouth? It means you have to listen as twice as much as you speak. Quoted by the Greek philosopher Epictetus. But we also have two eyes, two hands, two legs, and two feet. And the reason why I told you that is because the topic I'm about to discuss today is how to improve conversational skills. To make it easier to remember, I simplified it down to three rules. Rules are designed to ensure fairness, safety, and respect for other people's rights. Okay. Rule number one. Body language. This is why I would like to change my monotone pattern when I speak. When I'm speaking, I don't show very much emotion. I'm like a monotone pain that shows little to no emotion and can be very boring. Just like this picture. No, oh, no, this is, this is not okay. It's time to stop, it's time to stop. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, Bob. Rule number two, tone. I'm going to use the word stop as an example again. I'm Michael Jordan. Stop it. Get some help. You ready? Yes. Okay, here, you're there. Stop it! <laughs> I'm sorry? Stop it! Stop it? Yes! S-T-O-P, new word, I-T. Those two rules are the key to a fun and rewarding communication. The 73855 rule is a concept concerning the communications of emotions. The rule states that 7% of meaning is communicated through spoken word, 38% through tone of voice, and 55% through body language. It was developed by a psychology professor, Albert Mehrabian, at the University of California, Los Angeles, who laid out the concept in his 1971 book, silent messages. Rule number three, be sensitive. Not everybody can experience the same things at the same time. I have three examples on this rule. Example number one, never talk about current events. Politics. Why? One way or another, it would always end up with a fight. On how the president I believe in is better than the president you believe in. On how your president isn't doing good things for the country. You'll never agree with each other. Example number two, never debate. A good communication allows both parties to communicate their feelings smoothly. When you have debates, you have a disagreement. If you really want to have good communication, just agree to disagree. What is agree to disagree? Both of you accept. For example, I don't believe in drinking tea. I prefer coffee. And you believe in drinking tea rather than coffee. For the conversation to go smoothly, you say, Okay, you have your opinion, and I respect that, but I still prefer drinking coffee. See, I agree to disagree. Our goal is to have unity with one another. How will you achieve that if you keep on disagreeing with each other? And last but not least, always prefer to be kind than to be right. This may sound like a cliché, and trust me, I know, it is, but it's cliché for a reason. This has got to be the most powerful quote in this speech, because all of my examples revolve around this quote. Let's have a heart-to-heart. 
Being kind is more stress-free because being right all the time requires proof. You have to justify what you're saying because you want to be more correct. And that's honestly tiring. Communication is an art because it involves creativity. Never talk about other people. Talking about other people is gossiping. And the people who gossip are the ones who don't use creativity. Because usually when you gossip, you're bored. And when you gossip, you talk about the bad traits of a human being. But think about this. The best people don't talk about other people. They talk about ideas.